In this part of the section, we will learn about encapsulation. So as we spoke about in the previous video, that this way of programming is not actually practical. We're not supposed to be doing things like this. So this information is supposed to be hidden from the user. It's supposed to be hidden. We're supposed to hide this. So what I'm going to do is head over to this class and what I can do is set this to private like this and we can set this to private as well sorry just like this this is an access modifier it specifies whether an attribute or a, uh, a method is visible or not outside of its class so when we say private we're making it only visible inside like within the class and then if we say public it's accessible anywhere outside the class inside and outside so this public method we can call it right here because it's public if it was private we wouldn't be able to do that so now we have two uh, we have relate we have problems here because at this we are actually using this attribute here but it's private so that's going to be an error so i'm going to erase all of this and just leave it like this and i'll do the same with this one just like that and what i'm going to talk about is say we want to access we want to change the names of these of these we want to change the grade we want to change the subject but how are we going to do that if these are private we make use of what we call getters and setters so the setter the setter will set the actual attribute to whatever it is you want and the getter will get that attribute if you want to use it so what i'm going to do is start with a setter so we're going to set this name we're going to create a set method for this name we're going to create a set method for grade a set method for favorite subject and then we're going to create a get method for all three of them again so the set method is void because it returns nothing and we can say set name and here we can actually have what we call an uh, a parameter in here so remember this is a string right we can say string name we can say uh, let's just call this s name and we can say name referring to this name as the one in the attribute is equal to whatever is passed in as an argument here hope that's not too complicated to understand so we're creating a set method and we have a, a, an argument here so let me demonstrate to you how that would look like we can say student one dot set name and then in here we can pass in the name john for example now what this will do is remember this accepts an a, 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 an argument so we have a, a, a name a, an s name parameter here of john we're setting this attribute down here to that John whatever is passed in here I hope that's not too difficult to understand we'll do the same for the other attributes for grade we can say set grade and then we can say int grade and then grade is equal to I'm just gonna say as grade And we'll do the same for the others a favorite subject set favorite subject to int we'll say just gonna say s favorite subject now we'll set this to s favorite subject so now this one isn't working because I I set this to int instead of string. 
supposed to be a string so yeah so now i hope this i hope this isn't too hard to understand so instead of just get uh having access to those attributes we can just set which just create setters for them set uh what else do we have set grade 12 and we can set the what else can we set favorite subject to life science life sciences and when we run this we'll get the exact same thing that we got down here but well, we, i think we're going to get an error okay i didn't okay anyway so this is for the first one studying life sciences hey my name is john i'm doing grade 12 so we set the grade we've set the favorite subject and then here we get null 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 and zero because we didn't set anything so say you wanted to get these actual values and you wanted to do something with them now we can create a getter for that so i'm just gonna go over here just below set name you can put it anywhere you want we can say public now since the get method will return the actual value say you will return the name because when you say uh, student one dot get name you you want the output to return to you the actual name that you're going to use so it depends on what you're you're returning so when we're setting when we're getting the name we want to return a string i can say get name and just type return name and we'll do the same with this one we can get grade and just return sorry this is not void grade is int it returns an integer value so we can just return the grade and again we'll return a string for this section here so get favorite subject return favorite subject so this is pretty simple if you really think about it but it's also not easy it's not as easy to understand so if you're finding it if you're finding it hard to understand then that's completely normal we can we can uh, get name get name get grade and get all of these now i want you to see something before we do all of this i'm just going to remove this i'm going to comment this code out because i don't want to get this output down here so i'm going to run this and here you get studying life sciences hey my name is john i'm doing grade 12 so why aren't we getting these values back because this only returns the values remember when we spoke about methods we didn't we mentioned that um the return type will just return a value but you will not get an output what we're doing when we're outputting here when we're using this system dot outprint line we are outputting something on the terminal but here we're not outputting anything we're just returning the value if you want to see it on the terminal we should just output it we can just wrap this we can wrap this around the system outprint line statement we can do the same for this one and for the other one and when i run it we're supposed to be getting these values back to us so there we go we get john we get 12 we get life sciences because we we are we are outputting these values and we're actually outputting these values before we call this method so that's why we're getting them up here and not down there so we can do that well we can do that we can also just go into yeah so while we can do that 
we can also do something we can also store these in the particular in whatever string that in whatever uh data type that we're going to be returning so for name we're going to return a name so i can just store this in a name string data type and for grade we can do that for we can do that with int grade favorite subject we can also use string and say f subject that doesn't matter and yeah there we go now we stored the, we stored these inside these data in these inside these variables sorry and we can output them anytime we want or we can just use them anywhere so that's that's what getters and setters are if you don't understand just keep watching the video over and over again i'm sure you 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 grasp it and next we're going to move on to constructors